Um, the, the mentality squad going into the Dragons game, we knew the importance of, of the game coming off. Obviously, we had a strong run of results, but that Bath game at home, so we knew we needed to jump back into the league and get the momentum back and keep on the form that we had been showing. So, obviously, it was a good start to the game. The Elkham Chad Cole, I think, scored barely two minutes on the clock, and that's obviously how we want to start games. Um, I think in that first two minutes, we showed exactly how we wanted to play. We, kept the ball um, in our half, whereas some teams might be looking to kick that away. We kept the ball through the phases and eventually that's when that's when we get space and um, we were able to, to break them down with Sammy and then Cole just finishing off on a lovely sport line. But it just showed our intent early on and then we backed that up with a try within the next five minutes. So it, was, it was a really good start to the game. Yeah, Fraz, yeah, Fraz obviously had, had an amazing game. Coming back from a few days in Scotland camp, he obviously scored a couple of tries and was everywhere around the park. His work in defence and ball carrying and, and then getting on getting on the score sheet twice just shows how how much he's given and how much form he's in at the moment for for Glasgow and, and obviously he's carrying that into Scotland, which, which is great to see. Our defence has, has come on leaps and bounds this season. I think it showed at that in that period for the next sort of five to ten minutes where, where we held out held firm where they were right in our line and Frank often talks about it when we score one or two early on that it's, it's actually dangerous because sometimes you can take your foot off the gas and then I think we're probably guilty a bit of that and we obviously let them back into the game with a couple of scores um, which is where we want to, to push on and we can just keep our foot in the throat and, and keep scoring from that point but as you say the defence to hold them out um, initially was a strong boys putting in big shifts and a lot of big effort in our defence at the moment. As I say, it's just about keeping our foot in the throat when, when we are up early on and not letting teams back into us with two, two quick scores. Yeah, obviously it's, it's, it's really good to score four tries and get that bonus point secured before half time. It's nice sitting on the bench knowing that that's in the bag, but I think when we actually got into the dressing room, into the sheds, Franco actually gave us a bit of a talking to. He didn't think that we were brutal enough out there. I think he was a bit um, frustrated with how the, their two tries had come about and how we hadn't continued the game, how we we had started it. And, and that just shows the, the point we're at in the season where we're, we've scored four tries before half time and we're still, we still know that that's not good enough and we, we need to keep going with that. Bringing up a bonus point before half time. They are in the driver's seat at the break. Dragons 14, Glasgow Warriors 20. Yeah, the attack's, the attack's obviously dangerous at the moment and the best thing about it is the multiple threats that we've got. We've got a run and a kicking game that, that is attacking kicks to look to get the ball back or to find space and you can see that. You can see Stafford bugging corners in the game and it just it keeps the defence with lots of things to think about and that creates other opportunities elsewhere because they can't cover anything. So it's exciting to see us scoring from deep, um, scoring from defence, scoring from attacking kicks and then scoring from our attacking shape. So to have all these threats, it only is going to help us develop going into the, to these big games that are coming. But Jones away, Dixon, Hanrahan, oh, intercepted! And the Dragons can wave goodbye to the match, to the game, and to Sebastian Cancellieri. Yeah, obviously it wasn't how we wanted to end the game. I think it was a bit frustrating because we had a couple of tries disallowed in that second half, which which would have helped us extend the lead. Um, we could have been close to, to that 50 point mark, which, which would have been nice. And then obviously we went down to the other end to concede that that last try um, is disappointing. It sort of feels we're under sticks in. But as away from that, we've, we've got what we wanted out of the game. We've got five points and we scored, I think, six tries, converted them all. So we came away with, with what we went down there for. So as much as it was disappointing to let them concede that last try, I think the boys were, were happy with, with the performance and the points were taken away. Glasgow Warriors march on. Their unbeaten run stretches to nine. They have another five-point victory in the URC. Yeah.